Hi, this is Renee from iteachblogging.com, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the colors of your text and a few other features on your Thrive theme. So in particular, I'm running a Thrive Focus theme here, and I'm just going to show you how to change colors, colors in a couple of different ways. There are two places I'm going to take you, so let's dive into it now. All right, so you're logged into your WordPress dashboard, and you're going to come over to Thrive Dashboard, Thrive Dashboard. and then click on focus blog. If it is a different Thrive theme, that's okay. Just click on your theme, click on theme options. All right, so now let's come to style and setting. And here is your color scheme. They have some predefined templates, color templates for us. We can make some changes, which I'll show you in just a second, pretty easily without having to do the CSS down here. But here you go. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and change this to green. All right. And I'll show you this visually in just a minute. And scroll down and hit Save All Changes. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do so that we can see the changes that we've made is I'm going to come over to Appearance and Customize. This is an easy way to do some customization on your theme and see what the changes look like. All right, now I have a fake post here, so I'm just going to go ahead and open that up so we can see a little bit more activity. If you notice, the links are green. That's the primary change. Up here we have some green. Um, that's the primary change that we're going to see in the color. You can see the submit button is green, the comments button. So this is just putting some green features into the blog. We could have chosen one of the other colors, but here on the drop down, you can see that we have green as well. So if we want to make a few changes, like we're like, okay, I kind of like the green, but I want to have a little more control, you can do that. So you could come to header and you can change the menu link color. Currently it's black or dark. To me, that looks like a dark gray, but let's go ahead and click on that. And you can put in a custom color. If you have like a color palette that you're working from to match your um, logo or something, you could do that or you can choose one of these colors and start dragging it around and you're going to see the previews here. So this is not live. If somebody, if your blog is live, nobody will see these changes until you hit the save publish button. Okay. So my suggestion is to kind of come in here and start playing around with it a little bit. See the different features. Um, you have the highlight menu cover color. Um, let's go ahead and change that to orange. So now, oh, well, you know, I don't, this starts getting, you're going to have to play around with it a little bit because it starts getting a little bit tricky as to which thing. There's so many different um, options. So you're going to want to play with that a little bit. Menu hover color. Let's change that to orange. Yeah. So you're going to want to play with that a little bit. You can see I'm sitting here on the video myself having to figure out a little bit of what each one of these things is, but just make some changes, get it to what you want, and then you would hit save and publish. Now, if you want to go look at some of the other features, you can hit this um, arrow and come to colors and you could change your link color. If you don't like it being green and you want your links to be black, there you go. You can make the change. You can change your background color. See how that changed that? That looks pretty funky. I don't recommend it, but you know, it's your blog. You can do what you want. You can change that to green. You can change your headline text color. There you go. All right. So you've got a few things you can do there. You can also, by the way, mess with your widgets here, but I actually think this is a bad way to do it, but that, but it, the option is there. It's up to you. Um, you can make some quick changes about your site title and your tagline, but I digress a bit. So as you can see, you've got header, fonts. By the way, you have the fonts option here too, but you have header, colors, and you can start playing around with it and have some really good times. As you can see, you can even do some background patterns. And that's kind of different and cool. You might like that. And then once you're done, you hit save and publish. Yeah, this is my test blog, so um, that's why it looks pretty funny. And then when you're done with that, you just click the X. And you can look at the live site. And it looks pretty funky, but that's okay. Let's come in here. 
there's our changes. You can see them taking place right there. So that's one of the things that's really nice about Thrive is that you don't have to do a bunch of coding. Now, if you start wanting to code special projects, that's a whole other um, video, but I, I am running this on my blogs and I don't hardly ever have to code anything. And it's really, really nice. All right, I hope that helps. So just remember, go to Thrive Theme, Thrive Dashboard, Focus Blog, and then go to appearance, customize. And there you'll see a lot of options of different ways to customize your blog and the colors. All right, blog on guys.